First question is from Luke Nichols Fitness. Is it best to do ass to grass every time for squats or is it better to mix it up a little bit for someone trying to get stronger and put on more muscle? All right. So, so when they say ass to grass, they're referring to just a really full squat, right? All the way down. Um, is that better? Okay. First off, the fullest range of motion that you have complete control and stability of is the best general best uh, form of squats for yourself. And this is true for any exercise. So, but the caveat is control and stability. Do not go beyond the range of motion that you fully own or control because the risk of injury goes up real high. And then the risk versus reward doesn't make any sense. So let's, let's just imagine that you could go all the way down and you have beautiful technique and full control, full stability. And that's how you can squat. Is there still value to doing shorter reps or partial reps or shorter range of motion? There are, but really for specific reasons, like if you're training at a, a part of the range of motion where maybe you have a sticking point. Yeah, sticking point or athletic reasons, really, for performance, where you want to generate the most force. Yeah. Like you see this with basketball players a lot, like, you know, going all the way down in an ask the grass squat doesn't really make that much sense. They're not going to be generating a lot of power like that as they're playing. So trying to mimic a little bit more, like, a tr so it, it translates better to what they're actually, yeah. uh, you know, producing out on the court makes sense. But uh, in general, I think that shooting for a deep range of motion is, is a good goal to have. Uh, but, uh, you know, working your way there and maintaining that stability and control is everything. It's crucial. It's funny. This is only a question for squats. Yeah. Think about that for a second. Nobody asks you that in any other exercise. Yeah, curls. Yeah. You never heard anybody say Even that. Even deadlifts. Yeah. Shoulder presses. No one. No one's asking, should I not go full range of motion Maybe sometimes? Maybe bench just to touch the chest. You know, I get that question yeah. sometimes, but uh, yeah. No, you're it's right. Usually it's, squats. It's about, you know why? Because squats are the are challenging, yeah. and most people have issues with mobility, control, and stability. Doing a full squat. That's and this right. is why the reason why I think this question comes up a lot is because I think that can I avoid it? And I think you inherently know the answer if you're asking this. Like I think that if you're squatting ass to grass and your form sucks going ass to grass, you probably shouldn't be squatting ass to grass. You should work on your mobility to get to that place, and you should squat down to the depth that allows you to squat down to with perfect form. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that's getting down to ass to grass, but more than likely it's not, and you have to work towards that. So whatever range of motion you can do with perfect form is what you should do. Yeah. And I don't squat ass to grass. I lack the control, the stability, and the exactly. mobility to do so. So I squat parallel or slightly below parallel. That's just what my body allows. And I do, I, I'm not willing yet to take the time to really work on continue, but I, I still work on it and try and get it a little lower. Now, now here's the, the question. People are like, well, what about aesthetics? You can still build muscle. Like, yeah, you, you can. You can still build muscle and, and, and get great aesthetics. But the question here is more about comparing the two. And truth be told, if I could squat full all the way down with the same control stability that I have going, let's say parallel or below, then I would do the full one because you're going to build more muscle. You're going to get a greater range of motion in strength or, or greater application of strength. You have better functionality. It maintains joint health a lot better. The issue really becomes about if you don't own that range of motion. And, well, and that's true for any exercise. I just think like, so in a hypothetical situation where you have um, like a really low seat, uh, for instance, and you know, all you've been training is like this certain degree that you've been sticking with in terms of like squat depth, mm. uh, where all of your strength control and everything is focused on like just bare, like that degree of angle. And now you go below that you know, what tends to happen? You get all, all this instability, your body, you know, loses its, its sense of control. Uh, and, and this is where it becomes a problem. And this is where something like, you know, you find like situations where you're in pain and, uh, you know, an injury might occur. Mm -hmm. So it, it just in terms of thinking of overall function and longevity, I think it's something to consider. Yeah, no, it makes, it's a hundred percent around that. It's, it's about the, what's best overall not just what's best for specific applications. Specific applications are specific, but it's true for any exercise. They've done lots of studies on this. Full ranges of motion, all things being equal, are better than shorter ranges of motion. And that's for every exercise. Every but exercise. we only get this ass on squats. And I think it's because there's something inside these people that are doing this that are telling them like, 
maybe I shouldn't do this all the time because <laughs> their fo their form sucks. And mm -hmm. and I see people doing that because we talk about the benefits. Of, so they force themselves to go all the way down. Yeah. So they force themselves to go all the way down. It's like mm -hmm. if you if you're squatting and just because you can. It doesn't mean that you're doing it with good form. Correct. So if you can get down to acid grass, but then your chest is all the way forward, your shoulders are rolling forward, like your back's rounded, yeah. you know, like if it if your form looks bad in that position, then you don't have you don't have good control there. You know what, Adam? I like to say good control and like full control and stability over form because a trained coach or trainer can see it in form. The average person can't see it in form. They'll see two squats. No, you're right. And they'll say, oh, it looks like a good squat. Unless it's obvious, right? They'll say, oh, it looks like a good squat. It should feel to you like you own every single inch of that movement. Like you could pause at any moment and hold it and be stable. Because mm -hmm. what happens to a lot of people when they force a deep squat who, don't, who lack the control and stability is they'll go down and then past a certain point, they kind of like go down and come up. Right. Like they lose stability and then come back up. And like, oh, I could do a full squat. It's like at the bottom there, you lost yeah. control they and stability. They can't dig their way out. Yeah, and yeah. as soon as you push the weight or you're off a little bit, that's going to cause an injury. So that's the issue. It's not the, the deep squat. It's the fact that you can't do it with good control and stability. Right. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.